I want to find out how much is drip irrigation system in Zimbabwe. To do that, I'm along Samora Mashewa. I'm going to visit one of the companies which does that. And I'm going to ask them some of the burning questions that I have so that you can learn what is uh, drip irrigation all about and how much does it cost. So let me just head over to the company. So I'm at this company. It appears that uh, there is like a group of companies here. Uh, I see because there is uh, different banners and different logos, which is really common in this area of um, Samora Mashew in Eastley because there is, it's like a house that has got different, um, different companies because I saw that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go to their office and I'm going to ask them some, some of the burning questions. Uh, that's their, okay, the banner and I don't know what are those machines for and those tanks for. Yeah, but the place that I'm coming is here. Okay. Magadi. Hi, Sisi. Mushe, mushe. Good, good. So I need um, irrigation system done. Mm-hmm. And this again? Yes. So I need. I'm, I'm looking for irrigation system done. Mm-hmm. And uh, I need to know my prices and, mm-hmm. and, and how you go about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what I need. Right. Basically, per drip irrigation, mm-hmm. there drip are irrigation. two options. Mm-hmm. Pane at noti surface system. Mm-hmm. Surface system, they could your main line, we don't trench it. it so, we so, lay it per ground, per surface stone. So when you say main line, what do you mean? The line, you could see, you know, feed the drip line itself. Yeah, There's I a mean, pipe, a okay. poly pipe. Do you have a sample of the poly pipe? Yes, we do have. Can you take it, Ashton? All right. So this poly pipe, you need to say? So we lay it per surface and this guy stretch, okay. stretch 100 meters because can I start on this one hectare we are assuming we are discussing with a standard 100 meter by 100 okay, meter yeah, I mean, like right so th- this is the poly pipe that you have this is the poly pipe that you're talking about so for instance we assume we have stretched it 100 meters right that's 100 meters that, 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 that's, that, that, that's the hectare yes that's the hectare hectare standard hectare is 100 meter mm. by 100 meter can okay. I start on this one hectare 100 meter by 100 meter do one hectare so it can be almost like ground rebore. Almost like ground rebore. 100 meter. Oh. 100 meter. Or oh, it can be 150 meters by 15. As long as meets that should this zoga per 10,000 square meters. Oh, okay. Okay. Pada meets ka. Chet, chet. All right. So for example, 200 meters mm. by 50 meters. That's a hectare. That's a hectare. As long as we come back to 10,000 square meters. Mm. All but right. For marketing purposes, so, so, so this, is, this is the main line, isn't it? This is the main line. Okay. Of so, course, I can show it, but assume I go to check it, but hundred meters. So, 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 okay. What is the main line? What does it do? Can you check it? Purpose: the main line mm. they could receive water mm. coming from the source, so that it then feeds into the drip line now. Okay. So, 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 the so water comes into here. Yeah? Yes. And then the drip line. It go, goes like this. 100 meters, just like this. This is the short demo. You could, the water comes into the main line. Mm-hmm. It gets into the drip line mm-hmm. through this control point. It's, we call it a mini valve. Mini valve, right? Yes. Whereby you've got what we call line control. Mm-hmm. If it's open like this, if we close it like so, this, so, so, it. So, so how many of these do we need per hectare? Yeah. 100 sets. And we, of these tools, yes, of these red things. Yes. So, so if, 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 I, if, if I need all these places on, mm-hmm. I have to make sure that I go 100 times turning them on. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so, 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 um, okay. So, so if, if it's... The beauty it's, or the advantage of mm, this, mm-hmm. a farmer, most times, mm-hmm. has enough storage. And again, a 5,000 liter tank. Mm-hmm. Whereas one hectare will require about 35 to 40,000 liters of water per hour. You own a 5,000 liter tank. All right. This is where this comes in. You then open the number of lines that relate to your storage. To your storage. When you fill in, mm-hmm. again, after using the first lines, you close them, you go balance to the me, next. B- 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 balance me again. Mm-hmm. So you said if someone has got a tank, mm-hmm. right, and the tank is 5,000 liters. 5,000 liters. The, and, and those are the most common ones, right? Those are the most common ones. So you're saying with this hand, with this on a hectare, mm-hmm. you need to use thirty-five thousand liters. If you want to irrigate one hectare at one go, you would need thirty-five thousand liters per hour. Per hour. Oh, so that means you need like seven of those tanks. You need seven of those tanks. 
but you can't buy them it's expensive yeah, 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 yeah. that's why it's when you go that to, <laughs> that, that's why when you go to each farm you mm. see them with one tank mm. irrigation is done in phases okay you then fill up the 5000 liter tank mm. you open about 15 lines 15 lines yes you close you refill the tank mm -hmm. you go to the next 15 lines but again you still manage that by staggering your planting yeah. okay you don't have them to plant the whole field at one go you then decide to say let's say it's one april mm -hmm. you decide 15 to, to plant 15 lines all right or mira maybe a break of a week or two okay. you do another 15 lines in any case the advantage even when going to the market mm -hmm. you can't be harvesting one hectare of any crop at one go in all this is fruit and veg Okay. As in so, 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 so now, w w what constitutes the design of, of this? I, I see the, I see there are holes here. Yeah? Yes. There, there, there are little holes where, where you can fit in all these. Aren't yes, you? this we drilled them when customers were coming to Shiva's this, how do you do it? Okay. But ideally, mm -hmm. it should be one meter in the row from one point like this to the next. Well, so here we are, we are assuming that this gap is a meter. It's a meter. Oh, okay. So when farmers are coming in, they will say, mm. because we have what we call manual punches. Mm. Someone can say, I want to go and install on my own. On I'll, my try. own. I'll try. So those are the ones we allow to punch as we teach them. Okay. Yes. So, so how do you measure the, the distance? Uh, mm -hmm. You said one meter. Yes. And is it based on the type of the crop or what constitutes to have, to to have a distance of, of, of one meter or, or That's two That's a very meters? good question. One meter is adaptable to a number of crops. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can't be changing design each and every season. Mm -hmm. It's not practical. All In right. any case, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. But on average, for example, an average farmer wants to do tomatoes. Mm -hmm. An average farmer wants to do potatoes. Mm -hmm. You then go back to the drawing board. Okay. What's the indoor spacing for the tomatoes and the potatoes? It's okay. from 90 centimeters to 120. All right. So basically, that's, that's the first type. You said surface. Surface. So when you say surface, this, this pipe you don't change it. Yes, it's actually. Gaza so, but grounder that repairs that. It's a cherry trench or anything. Oh, it just goes on the ground like this, straight up. And then water comes in here. Yeah? Water comes in. And then distribution is done. Distribution is done. Do you have any questions on the surface type? So, so you understand what he said, right? Yeah. So, so this is the line that goes into the. So mm -hmm. now this main line that you call the main line, can yes. they, can it be two? Or you just need one? You just need one main line. There's no need for... Let for me give this. you... I want you to conceptualize this. Mm -hmm. Assume we are at a field, right? Yes. We have opened a block 100 meters by 100 meters. And mm -hmm. let's call that our one hectare. Yes. But now the water source could mm -hmm. be 20 meters away. Mm -hmm. The only additional thing that you need is a pipe that's going to draw water from, from the, the water source to, to here. Okay. In any case... Each farm has mm. its water source somewhere, somewhere. It can be the same. Someone's water source is in the field. So okay. when we are discussing something like this, we are talking about the obvious part, the 100 by 100. Okay. We then have to get to actuals. Like, what's your water source? Is it a bowl? Is it a dam? What's the distance? Okay. So the additional cost besides this one, the 100, was the 100 meter by 100 meter has to be neutral because that's the one hectare. Okay. But on your farm, is your water source in the field or is 300 oh, it's, meters it's, away? It's, 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 it's or it's two meters away? away. Oh, yeah, or it's yeah, a yeah, kilometer yeah. away? So that constitutes the price, yeah? So the one hectare, we only call the infield. Okay. Your additional cost then becomes the extra meters the, the extra to your water meters. source. Okay. You so, relate so, now. So, so um, yeah, that's, that's the one hectare, right? Yes. Okay, and that's the surface type. That's the surface type. The underground type, okay, the wait, only... Mm -hmm. That is the surface type that you have just... Right, tell me about, about, about here. So when these pipes are running, yes. how do they in feed water into the field? Right. These this is plastic, are yeah? preset from mm. the manufacturer. Mm. They have holes, dripper holes at every 30 centimeter. Okay. So the moment water comes in, at, at least 0 0.2 bars, they begin to drip. Okay, they begin to drip. Yes. Okay. It's preset. No one punches holes on a drip line. Okay, it's they, they, preset. they just preset like yes, that. Yes, they come from the manufacturer like that. Okay, interesting. Yes. Wow. Okay. What you control is your in the row. Now, let's talk about the underground one. All right. The first surface is, the surface is done. Now, mm -hmm. the underground, how does it work? And what is it? What, what does it constitute? The only difference between surface and underground is mm. instead, you go to shika, mungo no isa pipe per surface mm. we first need to dig a trench okay okay along uh -huh. the edge 
this trench mm -hmm. usually not more than 30 centimeters we then put the same pipe here and get it per surface but the connections differ now if you look at the surface we're having the pipe mm -hmm. into the connector right. but if it's underground we do that we do the trench we have this outlet pipe for mm -hmm. it to reach the surface then we have the connector and the drip line what's the purpose of this when we then close the trench we don't want to put it zip drip line All we right. put a hard pipe like this right. user receiver purpose area is underground we just want to make sure zwar karova are sikip pipe yedu mombe dzikapinda mumunda adzisikipa pipe yedu it's just a security measure All right. so how deep does, 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 does this go in terms of um Depth. How, yeah, in terms of depth, into 30 the centimeters ground. strength. 30 centimeters into the, mm. into the ground. Yes. So now let's talk about plowing, mm -hmm. right? Let's say we're doing, we do, we do the underground, mm -hmm. and then the farm now has got, um, what do you call it, Sora. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we need to Sakura the, the we need to weed Because out you have these projections of my connectors, mm -hmm. you obviously then know that this line as connectors mm -hmm. it's a line is single circuit tractor so for instance you then check could the tractor when it's going through the work process mm -hmm. you know see my meters mangani safest away from this if it's a meter before or after motion so then pump patch up a diga up a motion summer pads okay that's what every farmer so, does so, so so now okay sorry i'm new into i'm new into this no problem I'm just asking so any now, question now, thinking of this i've just done my crop Mm -hmm. Right, you put these 30 centimeters into the ground, yes, and it's actually uh, spreading water across this. Yes. It's actually oh. okay, yeah, that's okay, no problem. These things, <laughs> uh, okay, I don't, I don't need me. all right, okay, that's fine, Thank right? You. So, now, so now, this is now 30 centimeters into yes. the ground, and yes, I've just planted my seed, mm -hmm. uh, I've planted my seed. Mm -hmm. And then the roots does not go into the ground to eat 30 centimeters. <laughs> what happens? No, when yeah. irrigating, mm -hmm. what, what only goes into the trench is the pipe, mm -hmm. but the drip line is on the surface. Oh, the drip line is on the surface. The drip line is on the surface. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. What we have safeguarded is only okay. the main line. Now, what, what are the advantages? What are the pros and cons of, of putting this on the ground? And, and into the what, what the first and obvious one zuva zuva okay zuva weighs down material yeah anything okay paint yeah, jj motkari mm, you know okay. mm. so the pipe iripa ground nearly trenched you know last along so we're expecting this to take you a lifetime this is why i'm not my pipe and assist roads they're still okay but okay. they were trenched they're trenched now yeah. now talking about um um about that now does it affect the price this going into the ground or yes it affects the price Which one is more expensive the underground is more expensive because okay. it takes a little more material so, so doing a hectare how long does it take to to do a hectare for uh, the surface part and mm -hmm. then the bottom part installation let's say, yeah let's say someone gives you a job mm -hmm. so i want you to explain to me mm -hmm. when someone gives you a job yes w w once they pay mm -hmm. um uh, what's the lead time do you need considering that the person is um yeah, well, well, what's the lead time? How do you deliver? Let me take you through the whole process. Yeah, okay. Step number one mm -hmm. is what we call a site visit. We prefer to do a job after a site visit. Mm -hmm. Site visit is then you invite me to the farm mm -hmm. before I do any work. Mm -hmm. I come there. Mm -hmm. I mark out for you the one hectare or two hectares, three hectares, five hectares, depending on your requirement. Mm -hmm. We then peg to say we want our area to be irrigated on this point. Okay. I then take note of where the water is. Okay. We take measurements between the water source and the food to be irrigated. This will then help us to come up with an in inclusive cost. Does that come as a cost? Um, the only the cost irrigation. associated with mm. going to the site is fuel. It's transportation. It's transportation. Okay. If you have your own car to take us to the site, the better. The, there's you no money a, that we pay for You that. take our installer, you go. Oh, okay. No money is associated So, so with um, that's step number one. Yes. That's the uh, site visit. And Correct. step number two is? Step number two, we then come back to the office. Mm -hmm. Remember, maybe your family is in Moreo or Mutoko, yeah. wherever yeah, it may be. Yeah. We then drive back. We come to the office. Mm -hmm. We do a design. We do a quotation, we present it to you. Mm. Once agreed, if you say go tomorrow, installation process is six hours from commencement to commissioning. 
Okay, so you've got your materials in house. You don't need to buy them. Everything is now. Let's let's, let's talk about let's talk about quality of stuff. I mean, yes. um, what choices does someone have in terms of um, uh, these materials? Yes. You know, um, you can get an original stuff, mm -hmm. and and you can get a fake item. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you know, just like someone walks into a bar, mm -hmm. and you know, some other people they just want to buy the most expensive alcohol. Yes, yes. And some yes, of the people yes. they just want, you know what, get me the cheapest as long as I get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's that's, I know. that's 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 how well, people so so now looking at do, are there any variations? Because at the end of the day mm -hmm. we're looking at value for money. Yep. Yeah. Is there way you can say you no, know, this installation pipe is not original. It works, yes, mm -hmm. but it's not original. Yeah. Well, for us the only difference mm -hmm. that can arise is lifespan. Okay. We have a drip line that does three years. Mm -hmm. We have a drip line that does four years. That's the only difference. And it also comes at a difference in cost. Okay. But the so one that does three years, mm -hmm. it's original in its three years. Mm -hmm. The one that does four years, it's original in its four years. Oh, okay. Yes. But okay, looking at the market, it's a mm -hmm. very good example. Well, what I want you to tell me is what the market ha what the market does. It may, mm -hmm. They may do things different from you, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is that uh, let's say I walk into a castle. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the back of my mind, probably I'm looking for the cheapest option. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and at the back of someone's mind, they're mm -hmm. looking at the most expensive car because mm -hmm. they need like jari and things like yeah. that. Yeah. On the market, are they fake ones, or you're just saying the durability is, is, is what differs? Honestly speaking, across the market, the durability is the issue. Durability is the issue. Durability is the issue. Okay. Any farmer will ask you mm. lifespan. Okay. How many years in the chance of replying? Okay. That's where the issue is. That's where the issue. Okay. Now yes. speaking of that, let's talk about maintenance. Mm -hmm. If 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 let's say the three years is now due, mm -hmm. uh, how easy is it to maintain these things? If the three years is now due, there is a high chance that you need to use what we call drip to drip joiners, mm -hmm. something like this. Okay, they, they just join the end. Yes, okay. let's say there is a breakage there. Okay. You come in with this component, you, you cut, break it and, then you, and then you join. And okay. then for worst case, you can the reason the why we have said three years is because probably you now need a brand new line. A brand new line, okay. Yes, but you then have to see the magnitude okay. of the... Talking mood. about maintenance in terms of um, um, uh, your prices, mm -hmm. are you available if, let's say, you do the installation and someone faces a problem and then they want to call you in? Mm -hmm. You are hundred percent. Okay, but, but but now, it's how do you end a situation whereby um, uh, we don't want you to do the site visit and give us mm -hmm. an estimate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that not so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because in as, in as much as you you want us to do the site visit and things like that, mm -hmm. we could tell you uh, probably what what's there, and then you can do the estimate, and then maybe you can do the site visit. As long as you give us accurate information. We don't mind. So it's, it's not really about, uh, we will try by all means to be accurate, mm -hmm. but at the same time, um, uh, the issue is on just getting a price, a rough idea of the price quote. As long as, for example, you then say, we want to work on 150 meters by 200 meters, okay. then the water source is so much meters away and the water source is, we can come up with something. With something. Okay. Yes. So what are these? Well, here we have a lot of fittings. Oh, in, fittings. In, in, in any irrigation system, mm -hmm. you need, um, I'll call them conveyance fittings. Right. In other words, they help you to pass water from one point to the other. They're like okay. this one is a tea distributor. We've got oh, okay. an elbow distributor. They co-work with the pipes. Oh, with the pipes. Yes. Okay, so, so, so I want you to give me a rough idea of the court. Mm -hmm. There is one hectare, mm -hmm. one hectare space. Yes. And then if, if you're looking at the... Um, it's maybe uh huh is it is it 100 no i would say it's maybe 200 by 50. 200 by 50. yes that's and, a hectare and, yeah that's a hectare mm -hmm. yeah that's, that's the dimension and then mm -hmm. looking at the water source it's not anything far mm -hmm. with um, 10 meters it's coming from the tank 5000 liters okay yeah basically that one should cost you at least 950. 950. Yes, 950 dollars. Why? Mm. It has uh, deviated from the what we call the standard. 
-hmm. it's just across the market. We call it the standard because everybody mm -hmm. who wants to measure a hectare, they work with 100 by 100. Mm -hmm. So here what we do, for instance, 100 meter by 100 meter mm -hmm. will cost you 850, mm -hmm. the kit only, and mm -hmm. then the installation is mm -hmm. $200. Okay, so, so you're saying, you're saying according to you, your estimate for what I gave you, mm -hmm. we are saying 950. Yes. That's for the, for the kit. What is a kit taking me? <laughs> the, the kit is then what we're talking about where you have got the pipe, you've got the connectors, you've got the 10,000 meters drip line, mm. you've got your filter. It's a complete infield. So we're just saying that uh, 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 um, um, 10,000 for, for, for 950, you get the these things the yes, whole set for the a whole hectare. set for a hectare and ignoring then now, ignoring maybe mm. the distance from the water source. The but this one because it's 10 meters we can give it as a complement all right now, 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 now so the in addition to the 950 there is need for uh there's need for number one installation that's a, that's a cost right yes you said how much is it for a hectare we charge 200 dollars 200 dollars yes. what are the costs involved there Besides the distance from the water source, nothing else. And then, no, and then, then maybe transport, yeah? Transport, of course, yes. So transport, is, 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 it depends on it, the... You choose. You could have a truck yourself. Okay. Yes, you come, So you that's 950 plus 200, 1,150. Yes. Okay. And the reason why it's been like that is because, like I was trying to explain, our mm. standard 800 by 100, mm. it's 850 mm. plus 200 installation. Okay. But the reason why yours then goes to 950 is because where on the standard 100 by 100, we had to put 100 meters pipe, mm -hmm. yours is 200. So mm. you've got an additional 100 meters mm. pipe. So no, 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 let's talk about, um, there's something that I wanted to ask. Uh, what was it? Oh, I'm I'm now forgetting. But anyway, it's okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's that, that, that's nine fifteen. Then the deliver time you said six hours. Six hours. Oh, the moment we get on site, once mm. we start working, mm. if you want us to lay everything, we leave it probably okay. working six no, hours. No, no, no. The the, the 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 other thing that I wanted to ask you is that what sort of support service do you give outside uh, the irrigation system for some people that are just getting started? Mm -hmm. I mean. I'm talking about, um, do you have any support measures, maybe, what type of crop to farm? If you look at the back, you find Sidco staff there. Okay. We've got a partnership or a relationship with Sidco. Mm -hmm. We give you agronomists from Sidco. They know plant life. Okay. We have a strategic partner. Of course, besides selling their products, mm -hmm. we can Oh, those are the seeds, yeah? Yes, 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 yes. Those seeds. are the seeds. Okay. Different seeds this of different carrot. crops. Okay. So it's a partner. We okay. then usher you into their hands. They know crop life. They will guide you. This is and do this. This is and do that. So do, do they have a fee for that? or? Sidgo doesn't have a fee for that. Basically, as, what they as need long is... As, buying as, their long, as long as you're buying their product. You need to buy some something from them. <laughs> and then you also spoke about a mixture of, 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 of crops. You, you mentioned you can't do um, one crop in one field at a given time. You can Why actually. is that? No, you can do one crop in one field. You can mm. also mix crops in one field. Okay, using these. Using these. The reason why I said you can mix is because, for example, if you can have 20 lines of a certain crop under a certain number of verbs. You can mm. have another 20 lines under a certain number of verbs. Okay. So much that you can actually irrigate them different times. And okay. they get water without competition. Remember, okay. that's the advantage so, of so, this so line no, no, control. The price that you gave me, is it for underground or up, up ground? Or on the, the ones I've just given you there for the surface. So an additional cost to put then it in the ground? Then for each underground, you just add an additional 150, 150. When you say each underground, what do you mean? For example, where I had caught you... Uh, 950. If it's now underground, you say 950 plus, plus 150. 150. Yes. And then the labor The cost. installation doesn't change. Oh, the links are And what are these? <laughs> I'm so curious. <laughs> <laughs> these are sprinklers. The sprinklers, how do they yes. work? Yes. Well, it's more or less the same like drip, mm -hmm. whereby you have a main line that will be running under. Okay, that's the main line that's yes, running under. Yeah. But instead of now having drip, Mm -hmm. Th these connections are no longer there now. These connections are no longer there. Yeah? Yes, what we now have is what we call sedos. Sedos are connections that take water from the main line, mm -hmm. then they put them into the and then riser pipe. Start to sprinkle water. Yes, twelve meters radius, twelve to the left, twelve to the right, at okay. a pressure of two point five bars. D does it go round or it goes? Yes, round. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Round. Okay. The standard impact. So, one. so which one is good? This or this? 
we can't say which one is good. There is relevance. Okay. For example, if you're dealing with what culture, um, there are crops mm -hmm. that don't want water on their leaves. Okay. Why? You cause fungal diseases, number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. You cause the flowers to go down. Okay. For instance, when you're dealing with, um, let's talk about tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put water on the surfaces of tomatoes. Do yeah, you, know you just put it in the ground. You, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you've just so, answered. <laughs> so, so really, each has to have a function. Yeah, there is okay. a reason for everything. <laughs> okay, I get it. Yes. You want to ask something? I was going to just say that this, having that, it just means that it's a, it's an easier process. Which, this one? Is it not? Like, because like what you're saying, you said it like, that one on the surface or underground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one obviously doesn't go underground, it just... So yeah, 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 but you'll be putting water on the leaves, yeah. yeah. That, that's what he's saying. So most of the crops anyway, they need it's water actually on the, on, the, on the root. On the road. Not on the only that, mm. we might have put this underground, but what's only underground is the pipe, not the drip line. Yeah, the drip line so is the, actually the, the hard part is for me to install, but when you are using, it's simple. Okay. <laughs> so, um, wow, do I have any questions actually? Now, let's talk about the market price. Yep. Yeah. You give us a price, 950, 850 plus... Yes. Um, 200. 200, your labor mm -hmm. plus, that's for a hectare. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the market price. What is mm. your competition charging out there? The cheapest the, that I can get? The one hectare that we charged uh, 850, mm. the market is charging right now $900. Okay. I can show you some Come groups. Closer. We have okay. some groups. We, I have some guys of mine. Let me look for one. Uh, okay. Where is Daniel here? <sighs> No, let me... No, no, it's fine. Just, just tell me the prices. Yes. So, so now, so, you're saying that the market price is... The one uh, we charge you, for example, we, we are just... No, just, to, just give me a range. Just give me a the, range. Of, well, for, so, for example, the one hectare, mm -hmm. where we're giving you 850, most companies are giving you 9, 950. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sometimes okay. even 1,000. Okay. Yes. So, so, so you're saying that the market price for a hectare in terms of getting these kits mm -hmm. ranges between 850 and 1,000. And 1,000 bucks. The same kit. The same kit. Yes. And then on the labor? The labor is generally the 200. It depends also, what's the market price? So what I need to say is that, uh, can you get charged maybe 1,700 to do a job on a hectare? That's what I need to, to know. So the- The only places where you the, can- What's the most that you've seen being charged? Basically, most people are on the 200. Okay. It's more like an agreed. Okay. within the industry. So according to me, to do uh, a irrigation system on one hectare land, mm -hmm. it's between, including labor, is between 1,100 up to maybe 1,400. It, it mustn't go more than... very expensive. It mustn't go that more than... That would be the than, roof. That would be the roof. Yeah. Okay. And then in addition to that, there is an additional cost depending on where your water is. Yeah. That's correct? Yes. And it also depends with uh, where your, uh, uh, um, the distance from you guys. Yes. Maybe someone is going to is Mureo different from someone who's going to is not it? Yes. And then now, my last question for you is that, how, is, is it possible for someone to get half a hectare done? Yes, easy, even quarter. Even quarter? Yes, we've oh. got prices for a quarter. For example, your quarter hectare, you get it for 460. Oh, okay. Your half hectare, you get it for 600. Okay. I'm talking about the surface. Okay, so um, how can people get in touch with you if you can share your number so that I, I, I may have missed out some of the questions that they may need to ask you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Uh, well, what's your number? For, Starting for with 263 plus 263. Yeah, yeah, plus 263. Yeah, 263. Yeah. 776 193 888. 263 776 193 Okay, that's fine. So, are there any questions that you feel like I should have asked you? That you want to share with me? Yes, that, yeah. you you didn't focus on the pumping solutions. <laughs> They're okay. important. <laughs> okay, the pumping solutions. Tell yes. me about them. Yeah. You see, we talked about the kids. Mm -hmm. The issue now is someone is taking water from the dam. Mm -hmm. We have solutions for that. Okay. They will definitely need a pump. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a AC one, mm -hmm. Zesa, where it could be on single or three phase, depending with the power on the farm mm -hmm. or the diesel pumps like the ones here okay. or the petrol ones okay. it's another um, component but okay. we can't put this in the court because 
if you then have a tank and a stand, that's a gravity system. Mm. You don't need this. Okay. So what we caught is what's neutral to everyone. Okay. Additionals depend with the person. So even, for example, like we said, if you have a farm that's two kilometers away from the water source, mm. you can't expect to get the same pump with someone with 20 meters from the water source. Really, you can't. Okay. So these are additional. So we also do the pumps. But on pumps, we can't give anyone a price because price is factored based on parameters like the distance the lane, and yeah. the head to be fought. But okay. the general public can know that we do have and we advise based on what's on the ground. Okay. Yeah. So, so now, um, tell me something based on that, on the pumping system. Yes. So, um, besides the, the pump, that one, what sort of solution can be done is all, uh, if the gravity is not enough to push water into air? Mm -hmm. What, what, what well, can be done? Well, the moment gravity can't work, the next solution is pump. No other means. Okay. You, if you're not pumping, then you're on gravity. If okay. you're not on gravity, you're pumping. There so your no pump works with fuel or it works with this? That's what I said. You've got an option to be on Zesa, mm -hmm. depending with your farm. If you're on single phase, we connect you on single phase. Mm -hmm. If you're on three, on three phase, we connect you on three phase. If there's no Zesa, we put you on fuel pumps. Because if you now want to do serious farming, if you need solar solutions, it mm -hmm. has got to be a big plant, the solar farm. But it's usually expensive for most people. From okay. experience, we've observed that. So people end up going for the few ones. For the few ones. For, yes. for, for the petrol ones. For the petrol ones. That's the term, yeah? Yes. yes. <laughs> Some yes, call yes. it gas. Gas. Some call it fuel, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, any questions for him? Yeah, anything else? I guess I I've think other than the issue of pumping, everything else, maybe the only thing people can confide from us is we can then also add, assist them with plans in terms of irrigation scheduling we just give them a guide when you're doing this crop usually irrigate so much water per okay. hour per week up to this stage then from this stage you have to change increase or lessen we, that knowledge we have as well it's okay. something complementary oh, that our that farmers can someone. confide on so i've managed to get a lot of answers to uh drip irrigation i, I used to call it drip feeding i don't know <laughs> i don't know why I guess I'm not the only one who says drip feed. So this unit that you're looking at is basically from what I've learned. I'm just going to recap uh, what these guys told me. This is the unit that they use on um, drip irrigation. And what they call this one is actually the main line. Okay, This is the main line that goes across the, the farm or the land. And then what you're seeing that you're branching out here is where the uh, uh, pipes that takes water onto the ground. Okay, so... That's the main line, okay? And then these are the little pipes. So he said again, the distance here as well matters. This is just a demo, so it can be a meter or whatever, or maybe 90 centimeters depending on the crop. So however, this will be lying on the ground like this, okay? So I'm just showing you for the sake of the video so that you can see, okay? So it lies on the ground like this. It's either this main line goes into the ground 30 meters, 30 centimeters, I mean, and then these uh, outlets, they also go on the surface where they can uh, uh, put water onto the crop. So that's what I managed to gather. And according to him, uh, he said the cheapest that you can get on the market to get drip irrigation done is around 1,100, including the labor. And again, you need to also filter in uh, uh, some other factors like if there is no pumping system of your water, if there is no transportation to your place, and also the distance from where the water source is. So the things that they may uh, charge you extra. So that's the minimum that you can get charged about 1,100 and you need to add on the other stuff. So I guess uh, you've gotten your answers. If you have any other questions, just get in touch with them or leave a comment below this video. With that said, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.